Your Revit template is the location where you want to keep your typical Revit schedules, those schedules that you would use in each and every project. Examples of these schedules may be a door schedule, structural steel quantity schedule, or an equipment schedule. For this template, I'd like to add another kind of schedule, which is called a sheet list. Underneath the View tab, select on Schedules. When you do, you'll see Sheet List is one of your options. Select on it, and then you'll see the Sheet List Properties dialog box. Over on the left-hand side, you have the available fields which can be placed onto the schedule. Scroll down in the available fields and select on Sheet Number, and then select on the Add button. By doing this, Sheet Number is the first heading on our Sheet List schedule. Now let's add several more columns of information to our schedule. Starting off by highlighting on Sheet Name, selecting on Add, the Issue Date, selecting on Add, pick Drawn By, add it, Design By, add, click on Current Revision, hold down the Control key and pick Current Revision Date. This allows us to highlight the current revision date along with current revision. So when we select on add, it moves them both over to the right hand side and to our sheet list schedule. If any of these need to be moved up or down, you can highlight on the appropriate one, select on move up and it will move it up to an appropriate location or click on move down and it will move it down to where it should be in order inside of the scheduled fields. In this case, this is the order that we need to have it for our company in this schedule. Next, come up here to the Sorting and Grouping tab and select on Sorting and Grouping. We want to sort by the sheet number. What this does is it puts it in order so that all the A's are first, C's are second, S's are third, whatever order it is that you choose to number your sheets. You could also continue to refine this by clicking on further categories and you have four different options that you can use to further refine the ordering and sorting of your sheets. But usually just doing the sheet number will be good enough. For the formatting, each one of these fields over on the left hand side, if you select on them, you'll see that it changes the information over on the right hand side. For instance, current revision date. That's a pretty long title to have on the schedule. Maybe we want to call this current rev date. So by clicking in the heading, we can then change this to current rev date. We could do the same thing with current revision. Leave the word current and bring that back to rev. Before we click on OK, let's take a look at another tab, and that's going to be the appearance tab. The Appearance tab controls the graphics, the actual display of the way that this schedule will look on the sheet. If we want to have line work on the schedule, we need to make sure that Grid Lines has a check mark. If we want to change the line weights, we can then pick off the list of available different line weights, which line weight we want to use. Thin Lines is OK. There's an option here that says Blank Row Before Data. See what that does here in just a moment. There's the title text, header text, and body text. These are all different kinds of fonts that you can use. So change the size of the font when it's placed on one of your sheets. Once you have it set up the way that you like it, select on OK, and it will bring up the sheet list view. The same process works for all the rest of your schedules that you add to your template. In this case, we can see all the different sheet names or sheet information that we added to our sheet list. Let's add a couple of sheets, one just for the purpose of seeing how they populate the sheet list, and two, so when we pull this sheet list out, we have a sheet to place it onto. If you scroll up on the project browser, make sure that Sheets is highlighted. Once you find Sheets in your project browser, right-click on it and select New Sheet. From here, if you already have your title block loaded into your template, it'll show up here underneath New Sheet. If you haven't loaded it in yet, and we currently don't have one to load in, but if you've already drawn it out, you could come up to Load, load it into your template, and select on it, click OK. It would then be loaded into your template, and then available the next time someone started a project. In this example, we'll use E1 30x42. Click on OK it creates a new sheet. 
Let's do this one more time. Right click, new sheet, accept the default title block. Now we have two sheets. And if we look at the sheet list, we can now see that there are two sheets here on the sheet list. If you want to make any kind of modification to the sheet list, such as the formatting of the sheet list, you can do that underneath properties, in this case, over on the left hand side. What I like to do is make a change underneath formatting. So select on edit next to the formatting. Here's a list of how each of these are formatted. We can see sheet number, sheet name, and the sheet issue date. They're all right here. If we wanted this to just be sheet num instead of sheet number, just to save a little bit of space, we could do that. Then come down here to OK. And notice it update here on the sheet list. If we wanted to change another category, we could either come back into formatting by clicking on edit, or if we just wanted to revise it here in the schedule, we could do that as well, such as clicking up here where it has sheet issue date and removing the word date, and then clicking somewhere out here in space to finalize that typing. One other way that we can modify this is by coming underneath the sorting and grouping and selecting on edit. I'm looking for underneath the appearance tab where it says blank row before data. We can see here this gray blank row. We can remove that by clearing out the blank row before data. Click on OK. And now we can see that this has now been updated. Finally, after we've made all of our revisions, we've done the kind of changes that we want to make, we can now put this on the default sheet that we always want it to show up inside of whenever the Revit project opens up. Here where it has sheets department, Expand it out until you find A101 unnamed. Double click on that. From here, find the sheet list. Click on it. Drag the view out. And then place it in the appropriate location here inside of your title block. If the size needs to adjust at all, you can do that by clicking on these arrows, dragging out the appropriate category so that everything fits appropriately on your sheet. And finally, you can click on the sheet list, pull it to the right location, zoom back out. And now as sheets are added inside of the project environment, your sheet list will begin to expand.